Good evening, everyone. We're back uh, pretty quick this time. I'm back with an unboxing of a package I've been waiting on for a while. As you can see, I already ripped the bag open so we wouldn't have to watch me fight with that. Um, so this is a package I've been waiting on from the LCDH Customs. They um, do custom roll Cuban cigars. And I ordered the Papo. Be careful. Papo BHK 54s. So these are uh, I don't know what the right lingo to use is. Um, custom rolls of the Cohiba uh, Bahike 54. And so today I figured uh, I would show show you the, you guys these beautiful, gorgeous, great tasting sticks. You can see there, this beautiful color. Oh man, the aroma right out of this, right out of the package is wonderful. So this is my third or fourth time ordering these these sticks, and uh, I don't get anything from from this company. But I would suggest if you like the Cohiba brand to to look these guys up, the LCDHCustoms.com really really good good stuff I have some Lanceros and uh, other sizes that they roll all of them are really 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 great and all of them seem to really match what they're trying to accomplish you know and then saying this is the Cohiba Bahike 54 um, I've actually had a box of 54s and 52s over the years. They were, man, they were fantastic, especially with some age, they were fantastic. But for the, for the price, man, these are the closest thing you could possibly want to get to, to a, to a heat game. They are so good, so delicious. The only thing I've been wondering is how much better would they be if I stopped putting my hands on them and put some age on them? You know, if I've got a year in the humidor, how much better would these sticks be? You know, I've ordered 10 last month and I got three remaining. I ordered those 10 with the intention to age for at least a year just to see the difference to see what kind of flavor flavor they had um, but of course I smoked them all except for four so you can see here so what I what I do is I have this glassine paper and I just make some handwritten labels of what the cigar is when I purchased it and so I'm gonna try my hand again at this and figured I'd just let you guys watch and aging these wonderful cigars. Hopefully this time I can stick to it and not smoke them. Um, the last two, they're just so good. Um, right from the, from the factory, they're so good. I just can't help but to smoke them. Oh. oh, this is going to be, I forgot how tough this was last time. I don't know how the, the rollers and packers do this in, in the factories because this is not an easy task. 
whatsoever. So what I do is I like to try to keep the bundle together in the glassine paper. And then I stick them in the back of the humidor for as long as I can without reaching and grabbing them and ruining the aging process that I'm trying to accomplish. There we go. So they're protected. Uh, what I've found over the years is cigars always age better if you keep them bundled together this way. Uh, and you can definitely tell that by just waiting to wait three months, pull these back out of the humidor and just smell the foot. It'll tell you everything you need to know. I just wanted to bring you guys along to let you see what I was doing there. Um, again, I have so many. Uh, these are my Boulevard Bella Cosafinos. Uh, I had a box of these from 2021 and I had, I think, six left at the time. So I pulled them out, bundled them together tightly in the glassine paper and just been letting them age ever since. Of course, I snuck two more out and smoked them, but hopefully I can leave them alone and let them sit and age in the humidor, try one, you know, next year, the year after and just continue on. But my plan with these is to let these get a year as I, I still have four more of these in the human or sorry that I've been aging since July June so let these sit for a year come back to them next August see what the differences are and uh, possibly order a couple of bundles of 25 and just just stock the humidor I mean these things are that good if you get the opportunity look up LCDH Customs, uh, try several different um, options that they have. You know, they got the BHK 52, 54, 56, uh, Lusitania's, Gold Medals, um, Cohiba, Lanceros, just about anything you could, you could want to try from, from Cuba without the price tag. And man, they are just as good. Look them up, give them a shot, leave them a comment on what you thought about them. That's it for tonight, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and let me know what you think about the content.